So far we've been working with one-dimensional random variables or single random variables and in this video we'll start to look at multiple random variables interacting together and we'll start in the discrete case. So this is usually to model real-world phenomena you have lots of random variables or a high-dimensional random variable. So let's start by defining so given a underlying probability space or probability measure space a random vector is a measurable technically speaking measurable function x, I'll also use x to denote a random vector, from omega to rd, that's d-dimensional real space, where some, you know, d is some positive integer, 1, 2, 3, etc. So you pick d for your particular random vector. So that's just a very natural extension of our previous definition of a random variable. And sometimes I'll, I'll I, I was using RV to denote random variable. I'll also use RV for random vector. And to emphasize that it's a random vector, I'll, I'll write something like this. And so in the case of D equals 1, of course, this just becomes our previous definition for a random variable. And now, very natural extension of a discrete random variable, a discrete random vector, you know it's a vector because I put in RD, is a random vector such that the image of omega under X is countable. Just like in the one-dimensional case. Exactly the same definition. So that's nice. And now we'll have the definition of a PMF in this case. A little bit later on we're going to get to some definitions which are and results which are unique to the higher dimensional case. But for now we'll just extend these basic concepts. The joint PMF or sometimes people say joint distribution of a random variable x, well, a discrete random vector x in Rd is the function, and we denote it just the same way, it's a very natural extension, function from Rd to the interval from 0 to 1 defined by p of x equals the probability that x equals that value. So x here, uh, you know, this is, let me say, for all x in R D. So this is, x here is a vector, right? This is a function from vectors to numbers. So to clarify the notation here, I will make a little clarification. So notation, I write x equals x1, x2, up to xd for each component of this random vector. So a, a function, so remember this, is, this thing is a function. I can, a function into Rd can always be decomposed as D functions, each of which is one-dimensional. So each of these is a one-dimensional random variable. So this is, this is the multiple random variables that we're referring to. And a value x, in this case, in Rd, we decompose into its individual coordinates. And so if we write like in the definition here, when I write x equals x, that means 
that xi equals little xi for each i, each i from 1 to d. So it's equal on the coordinates. And uh, a further notational, notational remark here is that sometimes, even though I use p, it's, this, is a, this is technically speaking a function on vectors, sometimes we'll write, instead of this, write it in terms of the individual components. And one more notational remark is that sometimes we will write p subscript cap x equal to p of x to emphasize that this is the PMF for this particular for this particular random variable. That, that becomes important later on when you've got lots of different random variables flying around and you need to keep track of whose PMF is who. So now let me make a, a simple remark. So the probability that a random vector x takes a value in a can be written using countable additivity of a measure of this measure p. We can write this as the sum over all x in, and here this capital script x is the range, so you know this is as usual, or rather the, the image of x. So it's the sum over that of all the elements in A of the PMF. So this is just exactly the same as before, except now we're working with a random vector. And another, we can also extend our, our results about the, about functions of, of random variables or random vectors. So g of x, capital X, is also a random ve vector or random variable if it's one-dimensional. If x is a random vector and g is a function from rd for some positive integer g d to say rk for some any other positive integer k uh, is measurable. G is measurable. Technical condition, of course, here. And this is, well, this is not too difficult to check if you know I haven't really defined measurable functions, but it's it's a straightforward fact. But the main thing is that it's uh, because it's just the composition of G and X. So we can take functions of random vectors and get other random vectors or random variables, and this allows us to extend our proposition. Stick with the green. So we can extend our proposition on the expected value of a random variable to expected value uh, expected value of a function of a random variable to expected value of a function of a random vector. And once again, this looks just exactly like in the case of a one-dimensional random variable. We get, we just take the function of x here. We just evaluate g of x and take the expected value, use this formula for that. And that's for any measurable function g from rd to r, well r in this case, since we're thinking of this as, since this is a one-dimensional quantity, uh, such that as our, our usual our usual caveat in the case of uh, expectations, so such that this sum is well defined. Got to make sure we don't get infinity minus infinity. So that's all nice. Now we start to get to some some new some new things that are a little bit different about 
oh, looks like I'm out of time. So next time we will start to look at some things which are new about multiple random variables.